I'm John Buchanan, and in this video, we're going to be looking at capture recording. Now, this is a feature that is incredibly useful if you're anything like me, and sometimes you do your best work when the record light isn't on. So in other words, sometimes we're playing along to things, we come up with a great idea, and we think, ah, oh, if only I had recorded that, then I'd have that idea forever. What was it I played a moment ago? Can I remember? And suddenly that great chord progression or that great little melody is gone. What I've done here is to set up a project which has just got this ambient pad. I quite like working if I'm particularly working on sort of uh, piano music or something like that. It's quite nice to have a sound in the background to kind of give you a little bit of a vibe and to provide a bit of a sonic canvas. So what I've done here is to create this pad sound and what I want to do is to have a little bit of a play and try out some piano ideas over the top of it. So we're going to do that, but note, I'm not in record mode. Okay, so there's some nice ideas there. There might be a couple of chords that I played or a couple of things that I uh, enjoyed playing or think I might be able to use. And of course, I've played quite a lot. So actually remembering exactly which bit I liked, well, that's going to be a problem. So what I need, ideally, is a little failsafe, which is going to allow me to turn everything I've just played into a recording. And that feature exists, and it's called Capture Recording. And what we're going to do is to add the button, which allows us to go and find that recording to this project so we can get what I've just played back. In order to do that, what I need to do is to configure or customize the control bar and display, which I can do by pressing control and clicking anywhere where it's gray at the top. And when I select this option, you will find here that in the transport bar, there is an option called capture recording. And the moment I add that and I press OK, you can see that next to the record button, what we also have is capture recording. And if I press that button, there is what I've just played. It's added as a MIDI region to the track that I've just been working with. so I get my performance back, and that's great. So if I decide that there are some good things there, but I want to just try out some other things, I can do that, I can move that out of the way, and maybe I might mute that region for a moment. Now, the other thing that's absolutely amazing about capture recording is that I don't necessarily even need to be in play mode. It could be that I've forgotten that I've put a pad up here, and instead what I want to do is just try playing some things through. And again, I might have played something there that I quite liked and I wish I had as part of my project, but I haven't pressed play this time. Well, that doesn't actually matter because Capture Recording is going to have been listening anyway. And at the speed that I played that, so again, I'm not on a click track this time, it's just captured what I've played. So this is a button that I strongly urge you to add to your project. So remember, what we've done here in this video is to come to Customize Control Bar and Display and add this button, Capture Recording, to our project. And what that allows us to do, whether we're in play mode or not, is to add MIDI regions of the ideas, the little improvisations we make to our projects so that those great ideas don't get lost.